The next question I want to answer is why aren't the jaws 10 inches wide? Why didn't you make them gigantic for all our needs? Make big, huge, wide jaws. And the simple answer to that is leverage. I personally like to work off the edge or the side of the vise using um, just the edge to work off of. Now, this is the worst condition or position you could ever run a vise in. What happens in this orientation is the jaws, when you start smashing, want to close. So there's nothing supporting the jaw over here. So if this wants to get smaller, this stays the same, twisting the dynamic jaw and therefore potentially breaking off this jaw. And that's exactly what I did to this one. That's how I broke it, as I put something right here on the edge and I literally just twisted it off with a 12 foot cheater bar, of course. But that's how you're able to shear the head off. So the longer the jaws get, the more leverage you have, which could potentially damage the vise. Uh, yes, having longer jaws, it does have some benefits here and there, but for the majority of the time, you wanna keep the jaws as nice and tight to the dimension of the dynamic body, which is only three inches. So you're, you're literally pivoting these jaws off of a three inch wide um, component underneath. That's a lot of leverage, every inch just adds to that. Uh, but the solution to the problem is that I will be selling longer jaw inserts. So for those times you do need a little bit extra clearance or width, you can pop in those longer jaws and get that extra when you need it. But for the more, majority of the time, I don't feel you, it's really necessary. So these are gonna be the standard jaws.